What's up YouTube? This is Georgia Outlaw coming at you with another video. And as you can tell with me wearing camo like this, this is my favorite time of the year. I wear camo any time of the year really. More so in the fall and winter because hunting season. Deer hunting because what you see me wearing now, this is duck camo max five camo which is used by people that hunt ducks and stuff because as you see on the shirt it's blade grass kind of like the same stuff you'd see around ponds and anywhere you would hunt duck really the blade grass and the, you know so i was just pointing that out but today we're going to talk about the Coast Polysteel 650 flashlight. It's a nice little flashlight there. I didn't notice when you do that you can see the word Coast in there. That's cool. I didn't notice that until a minute ago. This is the 650, the Poly Steel 650. Not to be confused with this, Poly Steel 650R. Um, so we're gonna break down the flashlight and show you the details and the specs and all. Cause later in the video, you'll see the comparison, me comparing it with my other flashlight this guy right here i bought eight months ago and did a video a review and unboxing of my job smart i got this for 15 bucks it's rechargeable by the way it was on sale because it was the end of the year sale at tractor supply the uh retail price the original price would be now that the sale is over from when I bought it or purchased it, whatever, it's back to the regular price, 25 and change on uh, the website when I looked at it. But you can pick this up. Depends on time of the year you get it from your local uh, tractor supply. You could probably get it on sale if, you know, if they ever have a sale again, you know. But this is $25. This was $25. But, and then, you know, before we start talking about the coast again, I th thought I'd mention and show off a flashlight I've had for years. This is an older model, you can tell, because not many new flashlights that I know do you put the battery behind the bezel. Usually you insert the batteries from the back cap right here. But anyway, sorry if I got a little sidetracked. I just thought I'd show y'all that. Um, so, a breakdown. Again, here's your cap with the spring. Gotta be careful with that spring. Don't fuck it up, you know. <clears throat> And then you got the battery pack right there. So, and then there's the body of the flashlight with the bezel attached. I don't think the bezel can, it could come off, I'm sure, but I'm not going to attempt that. Don't want to break my flashlight when I just got it. So you slide that again. I meant to mention this. At four AA batteries. This is not to be confused with the 650R, which has a USB port in the middle on the rechargeable. That's what the R stands for. Uh, and you can charge the rechargeable, the 650R, with a USB cable. Then you slide that in there like such then you put the cap I'm trying to 
don't want to cross thread or anything. And oh, nice and snug. Now you know it's sealed. Now, by the way, the flashlight has the word coast in it when you, but you can't see it once you zoom out. I guess, I don't know. That's pretty cool though, to have the logo inside like that. Kind of cool. Um, this flashlight's amazing. After having it for two days, I like coast. I never owned a Coast flashlight, and I hear Coast makes other products for outdoors and whatnot, I guess. But I know they definitely make flashlights. I know that for a fact, but I think they make other stuff. Leave a comment below if they do. Let me know what else they make. I'd like to hear from y'all feedback, you know, y'all's comment. But tried to keep it drama free, by the way. Just saying, you know, I don't like dealing with a bunch of crap. And, you know, I know a person that would usually, <sighs> me and my friend buddy knows who this is, but uh, would usually leave negative comments on his channel and my channel. When I make something, you know, it's just, anyway, just keep it nice and simple. If you want to leave a comment below, I'll leave the comment section open. So, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Again, I like that style. Very compact. I mean, it's not really compact. Not per se, but it's very small enough to fit in your pocket. Needless to say, let's see if it would fit in my, yep, it would fit nicely in my pocket. But uh, this is a great flashlight. Would I ever buy a Coast flashlight again? So far, yeah. I hear they're pretty well designed and well durable. Because this is storm proof waterproof well resistant maybe maybe waterproof because my friend said he submerged his in water and his still works <clears throat> i guess as long as it's sealed nicely nice and tight uh this is drop proof you can drop it from 100 feet and it still keep on ticking according to their website the demo video that i saw and that's pretty good for a beater flashlight, you know, for ED, an everyday flashlight that you, I mean, I'm sure they probably make smaller flashlights by coast, but that's, let's, like I said, unless, I don't think I did mention this, but later in the video, you'll see a comparison of this and this. My other favorite flashlight. This has always been good to me. It's almost a year old. And it's held up pretty good. Just need to be charged. That's all. I need to uh, charge the batteries. But. Uh, as I said. I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> how this was my first flash. Well. Not my first. But. I came across this out in my shed. Uh, a while back looks like it might still work this thing's been out there in the shed for a while but this is one of those older flashlight models that you put the battery through the front of the flashlight right behind the bezel which is the head of the flashlight a bezel is where the light bulb and all that is and then you screw it on like that just thought I'd show you an old flashlight that I have in my collection. My new collection because I just started getting into flashlights thanks to my buddy over on his channel. Uh, me and him like the same things because me and him are a little bit alike. Maybe not a whole lot, 
maybe so i don't know but we are alike but there is some things about me that differ than what he is you know um we're good we've been good friends for a long time but uh this flashlight is a good flashlight i would recommend it yes i would <clears throat> so like i said here's the comparison part of the video what's up youtube <clears throat> i'm here to do my comparison of my two flashlights this is going to be a quick video and when i get inside I would do like a review but I want to put the camera down here try not to wake my neighbors up that's why I'm not talking too loud hopefully hang with the camera I don't want my neighbors to wake up so I'm gonna use this fence okay we're gonna use I just bought this little let me use this for example. That's the Coast Poly Steel 650. And we'll be comparing it to the Job Smart from Tractor Supply that I bought eight months ago. So, what I have in my hand right here, it blends in with the night sky. Is my Coast Poly Steel 650. Not to be confused with the 650R, which means rechargeable. This is the basic. The cool thing is, as you know, it's bright. And then you have not so bright that's 740 lumens I'm trying not to wake my neighbors right next to me so bear with me on this I'm gonna put this on the ground maybe you uh, get a better angle There you go. That's the flood. That's the brightness, the brightest setting. Not so bright. Not so bright. Here's my job spot. It only has one setting. And then you got the flood. I didn't want to do it too long because my neighbor might wake up. He's kind of moody if you wake him up, so. Um, that's just a comparison video. I'm gonna upload it and then when I get into the house, it's hard to do the comparison video if it was pitch black in my backyard, it would be easier. But we, we have a light in our backyard to light up the backyard, you know? So, there, try to black out the light so it's not blurred. So, I'm gonna upload this video. There, so you can actually see me better. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to do the review in the house. I just came out here to do the comparison the best I could. Uh, 
Okay. Um, so I hope you like it. And uh, I'll see you inside.